Uh, yeah, g'day, how you doing? All right, that's the story. Uh, now that the sun started shining on a fairly regular basis, it's a good time to uh, give a bit of thought to solar energy. We could do with a few other ways of generating the required number of ergs, and uh, with this solar method you can make large numbers of ergs and you don't have the trouble of water levels in lakes. Uh, I'm not actually 100% sure of how these things work, but it's something like this. You take a huge piece of stainless steel or reinforced tinfoil or some other shiny stuff and you bend it round until it looks like a big ploughing disc and then all you need is the sun. Uh, and when you've located the sun, you stick this big thing under it. Uh, if you lie the big thing on its back, the sun should get into it at some stage of the day as it usually lurks about straight up in the air around lunchtime. Uh, anyway, uh, you, when you've got the sun uh, beaming down into the bowl, you run a couple of wires off it and jam them into the things you want to work with. Uh, like if it's milking time, uh, you go and stick a handful of wires from the sun bowl into the back of the separator. Or if your old Sheila wants to knock off a bit of sewing, you set the sewing machine up in the paddock somewhere near it and run the cord over to the solar device and jab the plug into the side of it. Uh, you have to be a wee bit careful, of course. If the sun suddenly comes out from behind a cloud, you might find the machine tends to surge and you have to stand back until another cloud comes over and blocks out some of the erg potential. Uh, but if you are worried about power and you've got a decent-sized bit of something shiny hanging about the place, build yourself a solar energy bowl and be the envy of the district.